Hello everyone, I am Rilsi Laskana from BES Entrepreneurship and today I will be discussing about Truth Tables and the Morgan's Law. So what is Truth Tables? Truth Tables are logical devices that predominantly show up in mathematics, computer science, and philosophy applications. They are used to determine the truth or falsity of propositional statements by listing all possible outcomes of the truth values for the included propositions. So, it includes propositions. So, proposition is a sentence that makes a claim, can be an assertion or a denial that may either true or false. Let's go for an example. Roses are beautiful. This is a proposition. It is complete sentence and makes a claim. The claim may or may not be true. Let's go for the second example. Did you like the movie? This is not a proposition. It is a question and does not assert or deny anything. Now let's proceed to conjunction. Conjunction, an end statement given two proposition p and q p and q forms a conjunction the conjunction p and q is only true if both p and q are true the truth tables can set up as follow so this is the truth tables for conjunction p and q for p we have true true false false for q we have True, false, true, false. For P and Q, we have true, false, false, false. The symbol you see over there is used to represent end. So let's have an example for conjunction. Let's determine whether the conjunction is true or false. Number one, the capital of Ireland is Dublin and penguins live in Antarctica. This conjunction is true because both of the individual propositions are true. Number two, a square is a quadrilateral and fish are reptiles. This conjunction is false because the second proposition is false. Fish are not reptiles. This junction, an OR statement, give two proposition P and Q. P or Q forms a disjunction. The disjunction P or Q is true if either P or Q is true or if both are true. The disjunction is false only if both P and Q are both false. The truth table can set up as follow. So this is the truth tables for disjunction P or Q. For P we have true true false false. For Q, we have true, false, true, false. For P or Q, we have true, 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 false. So the symbol you see over there is used to represent OR. Okay, so let's have an example for disjunction. Let's determine whether the disjunction is true or false. Number one, a triangle has three sides or four sides. This disjunction is true because the first proposition is true even though the second proposition is false. Only one of them needs to be true for the disjunction to be true. Number two, all men are tall or all women are short. This disjunction is false because both propositions are false. Not all men are tall and not all women are short. Now let's have conditional proposition. A statement that proposes something is true on the condition that something else is true. For example, if P then Q, where P is the hypothesis and Q is the conclusion. So this is the truth table for conditional. If P then Q. P is true, true, false, false. For Q, we have true, false, true, false. If P, then Q, we have true, false, true, true. Let's now discuss our topic, the Morgan's Law. 
So, what is De Morgan's Law? De Morgan's Law describes how mathematical statements and concepts are related through their opposites. In set theory, De Morgan's Law relates the intersection and union of sets through complements. In propositional logic, De Morgan's Law relates conjunction and disjunctions of proposition through negations. So now, let's have an example for De Morgan's Law. So here's my example. It is not true that it rain or it snow. So as you can see, we have the De Morgan's Law. This is very useful for logical reasoning and manipulating logical statements.